Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In this episode, we are moving forward with our dynamic programming playlist and we are going to cover grid-based dynamic programming. In the upcoming episode, we will be covering up a few more advanced topics of dynamic programming such as DigitDB, SOSTP, DB on trees and graphs. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and please press the bell icon so that you can get notifications to our latest videos. In this video, we will be covering up two questions. The first one is count submatrices with all ones and the second one is number of ways to paint and cross 3 grid. So now let's start with the video. We are given a matrix of n cross n dimension that is row cross column and it consists of only ones and zeros and we have to count all the submatrices which only contains one in them. So in the very first example, there are six such submatrices with, with the dimension as 1 cross 1. There are two matrices with the dimension 1 cross 2, three matrices with the dimension 2 cross 1 and so on. So in total there are 13 such submatrices which only contains one in them. Now going for the second example, we will be looking at it. The constraints which are given are 150 cross 150 that is we will have to find at least big O of n raised to the power 3 solution we cannot go beyond that so let us look at the second example which is given to us it is 0 1 1 0 okay so the given example is 0 1 1 0 then 0 1 1 1 then we have 1 1 1 0 so this is the example now what we can do is we can fix the topmost left point of our rectangle so let us say this is the topmost left point of the rectangle and now we can extend this rectangle to the right side so initially there is only a single one now we have two ones so there are there are two matrices which we can form using this so if we have one comma one then we can have two matrices the, the first one uh, and we are sure that this is the fixed point this is the topmost left point it, this point should be fixed so if we keep this point as fixed this is the first matrix that we can form and this entire thing is the second matrix that we can form so two will be added to our answer now this was the this topmost left point this point is fixed next we include the next row so when I'm including the next row and when I'm going to extend this row to the right side I will see that there are three number of ones but we will not be able to consider all of the threes because we only have two number of ones in the row which is previous to this so the minimum of these two will be taken so even if we have three number of ones in the uh, in the row number two the row number one have only two number of ones so two will be considered so this is the uh, only rectangle that we can have now we cannot go for this rectangle so in this case also 2 will be added to the answer how let me explain for this one as well so this is what we have obtained now this point is fixed and we have already covered this rectangle and this rectangle now we will be going for for this rectangle and then we will be going for the entire rectangle so now two more will be added to the answer so the answer will be four similarly when we go to the next row we find that there are two number of ones which are consecutive and it is the minimum so again two will be added to the answer so this way we have to calculate the answer and the fixed point which is the topmost left point of the rectangle will be all of these points which are present inside the matrix so all of them will act as the topmost left point one by one so for for fixing up the point for fixing the top left point it is going to take big O of n square because there are n square points so it is going to take big O of n square now in order to find all the elements which are to the right side it will again take big O of n and then we are going one by one to 
the consecutive rows as well so again it is going to take big o of n so the total solution will become big o of n raised to the power 4 now first we are going to implement this solution and then we will try to do the optimization actually the optimization is in this part that when we are extending into the right we are calculating the number of ones this could be done using pre-computation so let me tell you what we can do so if the given matrix is something like this if we have 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 okay in this case in this particular row here the number of 1 including this and to the right side of this is 1 for this particular cell the number of ones to the right of it the consecutive number of ones uh, which is to the right of this is 2 including itself for this it is 0 for this it is 1 again because there there is only one consecutive one so that is this particular one itself so this is what we have we have to store in another matrix this is the sum of all the consecutive ones including the element itself and the elements which are to the right of it so we can see the coding part of it first of all n is the dimension the and m is matrix zero dot size so and m n cross m is the dimension of the matrix which is given to us now to store the pre-computation result we are taking an array of integer which is of the same dimension next we will run a for loop and we have to calculate the pre-computation so for that I have to travel from j is equals to m minus 1 to j greater than equals to 0 j minus minus now if the element which is present in the matrix at this particular cell is 1 in this case I will be incrementing C and C will be my count for each row which is 0 initially else I will make C is equals to 0 and finally my array of integer will for i comma j will be equals to c so now i'm done with the pre-computation part and now i am fixing the topmost left point using these for loops for i is equals to 0 i is more than n i plus plus So this is the topmost left point. Once I fix this point, now I need to go to each of the row, including the current row, that is I, till the last row. Now for each row, I will count the consecutive ones. So that consecutive ones could be obtained using this pre-computed array AR. So this will be and also I have to maintain the minimum. So initially I will take x as the minimum which is int max. Then x will be equal to minimum of x comma array of k comma j. And I will add this x to the answer. Finally. I will return the answer so let me try to run this for i is equals to 0 the problem is over here answer plus equals to x So the answer is correct for this particular test case. Let us try to submit this. 
it is giving us correct answer so the extra space we are using is n square the time complexity is big o of n cube these two for loops which are used to fix the topmost left point they are going to run in big o of n square the next loop which is iterating through the rows this will be again big o of n so the total time complexity will become big o of n cube hello everyone in this video we are going to solve the problem number of ways to paint n cross 3 grid the problem description says that you have a grid of size n cross 3 and you want to paint each cell of the grid with exactly one of the three colors the colors are red green or yellow while making sure that no two adjacent cells have the same color that is no two cell which share the vertical or the horizontal side have the same color you are given n the number of the rows of the grid you have to return the number of the ways you can paint this grid as the answer could be large you have to return the answer modulo 10 raised to the power 9 plus 7 if we look at the example we are given n is equals to 1 that is the number of rows is equals to 1 the answer for this is 12 so we can see the 12 configurations in front of us now if we look closely these 12 configurations they could be classified into two groups group 1 which has only two colors and group 2 which has three colors so if you look closely to each one of them we can classify them in either of these two groups for example this one contains only two colors while this one contains three color so once we notice this we can move further suppose we have the ith row which contains three color then the i plus 1th row which can come after this will be either of these four now among these four there are two three color rows and two two color rows now if we have the ith row as a two color row then there are five possibilities which could be classified into three into two three color rows and three two color rows Now with this we can form a mathematical equation. So if we want to know the number of two color rows for the i plus 1th row, we can see that it is equals to two color rows at the ith row multiplied by three from here plus three color rows multiplied by two for the ith row that is from here similarly if we want to know the number of three color rows for the i plus 1th row this is equals to two color rows multiplied by two that is this plus three color rows multiplied by three i'm sorry three color rows multiplied by two from here the mathematical equations are these the first one is the number of two color rows at the i plus 1th row which is equals to 2 times of 3 color rows at the ith position and 2 times of 2 color rows at the ith position. Similarly, the 3 color rows at the i plus 1th position is equals to 2 times the 3 color rows at the ith position and 2 times the 2 color rows at the ith position. Now from the example we saw that there are for n is equals to 1 there are basically 12 possibilities out of which 6 are 2 color rows and 6 are 3 color rows. Now with this we can move to the code. So we will start with the second row and we will go till the nth row. When we reach and we find this number of c2 and c3 for the nth row we are going to return their sum modulo mod. So in each iteration, we will, we will be updating our C2 and C3 in this manner. If we talk about the time complexity, the time complexity of this code is big O of n, where n is the number of the rows given, and the space complexity is big O of 1. There is no extra space which we are using here, only the variables, so the space complexity is constant. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.